So we have also done a study, which I have presented at this conference. And this study shows that with uh, additive homeopathy, additive to conventional chemotherapy and radiation, you can improve the patient's subjective well-being as well as the global health status. You can also help to improve uh, dyspnea, pain, insomnia, appetite loss, and fatigue. So I think it's a very relatively, uh, uh, it's a, an affordable method. And it's also something which helps the patient to increase his life quality, his or her life quality, and strengthening, uh, strengthening his constitution and life quality also means that according to studies which have nothing to do with homeopathy, for example, a study by Montalcieri has shown if you improve life quality, then you also improve survival of the patient. And I think homeopathy is not acting directly on the tumor, but it's just enabling the body to regain its um, original status. One aspect is life quality, and the other one is that you can obviously improve the immune system, so that the body is acting itself against the tumor. What we did was a retrospective analysis of patients with advanced cancer uh, stages. And um, this study comprised only a very small group of patients, around 50 to 60 patients. But um, in this study, we found out that uh, it makes sense to start with homeopathy up to 12 months after diagnosis, uh, using a special model, which is called the landmark model. This is a special statistics. And there we found out that the survival of those patients improved. And this was the reason that I started a study, an ongoing study, in lung cancer patients with a special stage. And so we are investigating not only the global health status and life quality, but also uh, we are watching survival time in a prospective double-blind placebo-controlled randomized uh, multi-center study. This is an ongoing study, and this is done in a Viennese urban hospital, and there are also two centers uh, in the western area of Austria. And uh, I hope we can finish this study in about two years and then uh, evaluate the data.